Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 11th. And uh, we're just going to see what comes up. I've just, I've, tried, I've started this new tactic here. I just close my eyes before I do a reading, and you know, um, I've done this before, but lately, as of yet, I've been doing it quite often. And I let them bring me a message. And today, there's a storm brewing. There's a storm brewing, so be ready. I feel as though lightning is about to strike. There is some sort of change that is coming. It may come as a shock. I know that we have heard this a lot lately, but it is not over yet. So I feel as though um, it's, it, it's, it's a little far out. As of yet, it, 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 this hasn't arrived yet. For so, for those of you that are, oh, this has already happened. No, mm -mm. that is not the case. There is a storm brewing, and it's about to roll in. This is not something to be scared of. This is something that is going to help you to evolve. It is going to help you to change. It is going to help you to bring you to the place that you are meant to go. If there's a purpose for this storm, whatever it is, um, there could be a lot of rain. And when I see rain, I see tears. Okay. So, um, this is a cleansing that is going to happen. This cleansing is happening so that you can start over and you can rebuild. Um, I would call, and I just came to me that this is the tower okay when I started speaking I wasn't visioning the tower but now I am so be prepared get prepared okay get prepared let's get started we're gonna start right here it just started raining too interesting it's been raining off and on all day What do we have for the 11th? Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Believe in magic. We're going to read that one real quick before we get started. Magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mystic realms are only a thought away. The veil is thin right now between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirits. It's indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening the doors to these realms is to trust. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition in those nudges from spirit. Believe. And that is what I just did with my eyes closed. And there is your storm. It's a coming. What do we have for the 11th, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Two of Pentacles, reverse, upheaval, chaos. But this is, when you get, you know, a lot of people don't know that the Two of Pentacles is a power beyond, you know, it's a geometric power at work. No kidding. So, some there's about to be some sort of upheaval. This is the sun card. Happiness. The truth. This is a wake-up call. This is happiness. Rebirth. Enlightened. Somebody is about to be enlightened. Six of pentacles reversed. The emperor reversed. Well, things are out of control. Things are about to, things could get out of control. 
This may not be something you can control with the Emperor in reversed, okay? This may not be something you can control. Things might get turned upside down. Um, you know, it could start out sunny, it could start out good, and then here comes the wake-up call. Um, three of Pentacles reversed. No teamwork. No working together. Lack of compromise. Four of Pentacles reversed. Opening up. Opening up. There's a gate opening up of some sort. Doorway. There's a doorway that is opening up. Ace of Wands reversed. Look at the aces right next to each other too. Oh, the Fool reversed. And the Six of Wands. So this is unfair. This is unfair because we have the we have justice reversed. So something could happen that turns out to be unfair. You know, you think this isn't fair. This isn't fair. This is something not materializing. This is this is the truth. This is some sort of communication. Um powerful. Powerful rebirth. There's a new door that is opening. This door that is opening is, is something that is very beautiful. I mean, this is the sun card. This is, ex this could, this door that is opening could bring you, make you very, very, very happy. But before this door opens, there's going to be some upheaval. There's going to be some upheaval. There could be some chaos. There could be, you know, uh, somebody gives up, doesn't want to work, you know, the three of pentacles reverses a lack of compromise, lack of cooperation, lack of working together, no teamwork. This is the sort of truth. This is awakening, a wake up call. Somebody's about to get a freaking wake up call that somebody I mean, the Ace of Wands has given up. There's no energy. There's no desire. I mean, this is a very similar message. We get this a lot. This is this fool reverse. There's no going back. That's what I see here. There's no going back. Somebody is not going to. Somebody is not going to reciprocate. They're not going to give to the situation anymore. This emperor is very upset, very angry, or not going to relinquish control. His mind is made up. Um, making making progress to move forward. We have somebody here that is finding... Uh, this is... The Six of Wands is very... Confidence. Being recognized. This is anger. The Emperor Reverse is angry. So somebody could get really, really angry and take an impulsive risk Somebody could take an impulsive risk to go in a different direction. It could definitely be impulsive. These are both impulsive energies. The emperor reversed and the fool reversed. Not thought out at all. So there, then this, this, we could have somebody that gets angry. Very angry. It could have something to do with children. It could have to, something to do with their children. There could be an argument or a fight in, that is in regards to children. You know, protecting his children. Um, Six of Pentacles. This is no reciprocation. No reciprocation. Not giving to the situation anymore. Something has not materialized. There's no energy. Something has gone south. There's no excitement left here. There's no growth left here. I think we have somebody... I mean, the fool, even reversed, is is about to uh, 
step into something. I mean, this guy is about to step into something, even though it may be impulsively. We have somebody here who may make a foolish move. And it could cause some sort of loss, okay, with the Six of Pentacles reversed. This is very similar to yesterday's. Um, somebody is deciding to not work with somebody anymore. I mean, that's what the Three of Pentacles is reversed. I'm not going to work with you anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not, no. Nope. Um, there's a new door for happiness that is opening. Okay, this is a new doorway opening. Somebody gets this new thought or this new idea or they get this wake-up call or an epiphany. I mean, that is the Ace of Swords. That's what this is. It's like they all of a sudden they get enlightened, okay? This isn't both of these are enlightenment. They get enlightened that there's no growth here. There's no growth. There's no desire to even give to this situation anymore. So I feel like we have somebody that gets really upset with that Emperor Reverse. This is somebody who gets upset. This guy gets upset, he loses his focus, he loses his concentration, and he may he may be the storm that I was telling you about, okay? He's a warrior, he's a fighter, so... And in reverse, I mean, there could definitely be some sort of um, situation that causes somebody, you know, to be heard, okay? Because this is a Six of Wands, and this guy gets recognized, okay? And he may get recognized for his... Um, power okay his authority he may he may he may be recognized for his authority he may act impulsively and get really angry and this he could get angry and this it may involve children and that could be part of the storm that is a brewing i mean it doesn't have to be an aries it could be anybody Somebody could get really angry and defend their child. This guy is very defensive. He's a defender. You see the you see the armor he's got on. He's a defender. He may he may spring to action to defend his children and whoever is on the other side, you know, may want to freaking just turn their back, put it that way, and walk away. That'd be the best bet. That's my advice. Anyhow, um So I feel like this is there's an opportunity. I mean, the Four of Pentacles reversed is good because this is opening up. And the sun is happiness. I, you know, I feel like there's the day starts out with some sort of chaos. Things are a little rocky or, you know, things are a little... Well, what is it? Flip it. You know, things are a little, yeah. There's not a lot of teamwork. There's there's some sort of people that really can't get along with each other, you know. Maybe there's whatever's going on. There's some sort of, somebody has to make a choose. It's like a, there's a monkey in the middle here. There's, we got one person that has to choose between two. And it could be between children. It could be between children. Or it could be between a wife and a child. Or a husband and a child. It's like, Things may get a little chaotic because, uh, what's it called? Three's a crowd. Three's a crowd, you know, and it doesn't have to be lovers. It could be three people. So somebody has to make a choice. Whose side are they going to be on or whatever? So anyway, that starts out like that. And then, you know, something happens and things start to get brighter. Things start to get better. Things, you know, start to get better. And then um, somebody decides to, I mean, this Four of Pentacles opens up. They decide to share something or give something. You know, somebody may share something and, you know, somebody else is like, you know what? Why did you do that? You know, why did you give to him and not me? You know, see, take a look at this. Why did you give to him and not me? Why did you do that? There could be, you know, why are you giving to this person and not to me? So there's some sort of jealousy here. There's some sort of jealousy. And we have somebody that probably gets angry, gets really upset. And, um, you know, gets some sort of epiphany. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm doing this. There's no growth here. There's no passion here. There's a lack of... Uh, fertility you know this has gone south it's not going in the right direction i think we see we have somebody here that makes an impulsive move um acts naively with this 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 uh 
fool card reversed. Somebody acts naively and decides to go in a different direction or head out because this is the six of wands. The six of wands is somebody that this guy's a warrior as well. So we definitely have somebody here who is very, very protective that will do anything for his children, his or her children. It looks like we have somebody here that is meddling and this meddler is probably going to get, um, well, the brunt of the storm, whatever it is. Um, yeah, that's what I see. Now that with that journey by moonlight, somebody may be taking a journey. With a six of wands, usually that is taking a journey. Oh, here's our tower. Okay, and I was going to put it right here. You saw, you know, I knew that we were going to have a tower moment. Expect the unexpected. Okay, expect the unexpected. We're about to have a realignment here. Somebody's going to get really, really, really pissed. Somebody is. Somebody's going to get really pissed, and they're going to make a, a move, It's and it's going to be a drastic one. It's unexpected. I feel like we should uh, all get prepared for some sort of uproar. This is a rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. Um, somebody is giving up on something. Somebody is giving up They're on the falseness because the tower is a false foundation. So somebody is giving up on a false foundation. They're, they're going to accept this realignment and they're going to, they're going to let go. You see, he's, this person's going to let go. So we have somebody here that is about to, this guy is very confident. He's going to about to face his fears and let go and I'm rubbing my chest. And let, let uh, fate and destiny do what it must. So I feel like we have, a, there's, there's probably going to be some sort of, and that's the last card. And that's the first card that I was talking about. So get prepared. Get prepared for some sort of rude awakening, some sort of faded change, some sort of faded event that is about to change your life. That is what I see. What is this? 8 11? Somebody's about to take a journey. It's meant to be. This is going to lead them to happiness. Good luck. <laughs>